In a previous video, I showed how to use your APM 2.5 for hardware in the loop simulation, and that was flying your simulated plane in manual mode. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, your flight mode so that you can maybe toggle from manual to stabilize, and then we'll finish up with a return to launch demonstration. And so you'll learn how to uh, test your flight modes in a hardware in the loop simulation with X-Plane. Okay, so in the previous video I demonstrated how to set up your IP settings. Now I'm actually running both X-Plane and Mission Planner on the same computer. I have Mission Planner running under Windows 7 in Parallels and then X-Plane on Mac OS X. So uh, just something to keep in mind. You can actually do this on two separate computers. And you'll notice some autopilot output here and some other information that's coming from X-Plane. So let's go ahead to X-Plane and I'm going to take off in manual mode. So I'm going to hit B to undo the brakes. And now I'm going to take off in manual mode with my transmitter. And as you get in the air you might find that you need to trim out your transmitter a little bit but everything appears to be working fine. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to toggle into stabilize mode. So now watch, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger my gear switch. And now it's gone into stabilize mode and now it's just flying right along. And if I toggle back into manual mode, you can see that I'm not as good of a pilot as the autopilot. So I'll flip back, and now we're in stabilized mode again. And you can see in Mission Planner, it shows we're in stabilized mode. Let's go ahead and check out our flight data screen. And you can see that this is where we took off from. It actually stores the GPS coordinates. And this is our current flight path where we are uh, in relation to our home waypoint. So here's what I'm gonna to do to keep things simple. I'm gonna go back to Config and Tuning tab, and for Flight Modes, you can see that we're currently in Stabilize Mode. So I'm gonna set Flight Mode 1 to RTL and save that. And now what we're gonna do is toggle into RTL and watch the plane come back home. Here's what we're gonna do. You'll notice that I'm, my gear switch is up, so we're in stabilized mode. And we just set Mission Planner to, if I go down, we're going to go to RTL mode. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to toggle. Now you can see the plane kind of flip around and start heading towards home. I put the transmitter over here. APM's over there. And through hardware in the loop simulation is flying the simulated RC plane back to its takeoff point. Now you can see we're getting close to home and if you're familiar with the Arctic plane software if you don't have it set to automatically land what it will do is it'll kind of circle around the home point so here in just a minute we should see uh, the plane just circle around the takeoff point. In the flight data screen we're kind of spinning around the home point now let's go check out X plane and yeah there we are. So it'll continue to do this, but what I'm going to do is take it out of RTL mode and to stabilize and then we'll land it manually. How about right about now? I'll take over. That was a demonstration of using your APM with your transmitter along with Mission Planner and X-Plane to do hardware in the loop simulation. So I hope that was useful. I've been having a lot of fun just learning more about it and uh, in the next video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up waypoints and plan a mission. Please feel free to post any questions or comments below and until next time thanks for watching.